Royal Style in the Making um, offers our visitors the opportunity to get a peek through the window of the workshops of five of the most important British royal designers of the 20th century. This year would have been at the 60th birthday of Diana, Princess of Wales, and we felt that that was a, a really special opportunity to put the wedding dress on display at her home here at Kensington Palace and to use it to tell that story of the collaboration between herself and the designers of the dress, the Emmanuels. While it's got lots of historic references, it's sort of bang on trend for 1980s fashion. And so it very much put Diana at the forefront of fashion. And that was quite new and quite unusual for royal brides. Although those relationships were different across the generations, much more formal um, between Madame Handley Seymour and uh, the Queen Mother um, than they were later on between the Princess of Wales and her designers. The most successful collaborations have had that ability to look both back and forward. Historic Royal Palaces has the most wonderful collection of design drawings, sketches, toiles and lots of materials from the archives of some of these designers um, which tell the story about the process of making a royal garment. We wanted to allow our visitors into that process and to give them a kind of behind the scenes look at how some of the most iconic royal garments have been made. We at Historic Royal Palaces are so interested in, in the way in which that collaboration between designer and royal client can really make or break the success of a dress um, or a garment um, and really can define the images that become iconic in royal history. So one of the things that we see across the exhibition is the way in which all of the designers look back as well as forward in their designs. In Belleville Sassoon, who was a collaboration between Belinda Belleville and David Sassoon, and they dressed Diana, Princess of Wales. Belinda Belleville, again, had designed for society women for, for years and years. David Sassoon was a kind of younger, very fashion-forward designer. And I think it, it's, it's once again that ability to, to kind of look back and see the sort of overarching requirements of royal dress in particular, which is a very performative mode of dress as well as to make it sort of relevant and fashion forward.